for you this uh happy the single de mayo it is also the day to remember our missing and murdered indigenous women that's why i started out that was uh, the strong woman song the story of that song was the women thrown in prison um you know because they were believed what they did it was in the Kingston Women's Prison that this song 
was born. There was a riot in the prison. I believe if I'm remembering correctly. And the women had to come together an open space. I can't remember the exact story, but the women came together and then they started singing this song together and gathering their strength together. And they were able to survive through that. Oh, geez, I forget the, 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 the details of it, but I know it started in the Kingston Women's Prison many moons ago. The Strong Woman Song. Beautiful. Sorry if I messed that up. My drum's a little off. I haven't played it in a while, but I really wanted to honor that. Honor those women. Honor all women. Honor all children. And uh, just be respectful to everybody. Don't know their stories. And this is where systems do need to. It's not change renewed you know no sense in fighting old systems right you can't teach old dogs new tricks they eh? time for just new start from scratch maybe i don't know uh so i brought out my archetype cards there and i figured uh, we'll continue on with these wednesdays now looking inside see how this goes along with our grandfathers the ancestors see we have lots to learn from that our grandmothers and grandfathers left us so much to learn from Especially in this, where we dehumanize other humans. We make them less than, and then we can do whatever we want to them. No matter what, women, children, no matter. We deem them as less than, and then we can abuse as we wish. They are there for our pleasure, whatever that is. Becoming that ownership. Man has this ownership thing. And woman, whatever, but we know in history, we can't deny it. Okay, it's right there. Yes, men get abused by women, but really, it's mostly the other way. We need to have understanding for that, but come on. <sighs> I watched that, um, is it Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Oh, that was amazing movie called On the Basis of Sex, right? And how she started to change those systems. She made some great points in there. How like these old policies and laws and everything, they reflected on the society that was then. This is a society that doesn't exist anymore, right? Where the rich is the minority. So why is the minority making the rules and policies for the majority? Because how does the minority know what's best for the majority, right? Isn't it supposed to be the majority rules? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's just some thoughts that come into my head like that. Anyways, let's get on. We have our archetypal cards here. <sighs> the wild unknown. Here we go into this wild unknown. Is it a new world? Mm -hmm. New world order? Mm. Being bullied to be, you know, oh yeah, it's new world. But no, we're not changing any of the rules. We want a new world with old rules. What? Ah, right? We want a new world with all the stuff that we saw didn't work. <laughs> right? We just want to boss everybody around, have a few at the top that tells the rest what to do. Mm. Is that the way it was supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are you looking at? What, is, what are you seeing in your life? As, what has your life been teaching you? Huh? Okay. Okay, creator. Oh. I'm trying to do more writing and stuff too. Getting it out. Journaling is wonderful. Oh my God, he's feeling so good. Which is okay. The body needs rest. And I really need to put that first. Because how can I be there for all of you? I can't even take care of myself here, right? Oh, and big girl had a cavity. Yes, they were surprised that it hurt, and so was I. They tend to suck it up. Notice that with children, too, right? When the children fall, sometimes they don't hurt themselves. They cry because everybody's rushing at them. They, oh, I should be crying, I guess, right? When they get that attention 
from that, whatever that is. So they were surprised because it wasn't even that deep. There's another one we got to get into. I got to get to that dentist. I know myself, I've been paranoid because, well, when I was a kid, dentist would say I had textbook teeth, perfect spacing, perfect overbites, all that, blah, 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 blah. And this last dentist, years ago, now it kind of, oh, I'm afraid of the dentist. <laughs> I just want a good dentist. It's not going to mess up my teeth anymore. And that will, you know, help my kids be comfortable too, right? And I don't want a bad dentist. And my kids won't go back to dentists, right? So working on that. I've been, there's so much. I've been working on that for a while. And so much kicked up here at that time that, it, you know, can't focus on all of that. And, right, do my own oxygen mask, whatever. But it's all right. That's what it is. Makes me have to look at myself. Okay, what do I need? Because I don't want to keep going. Because when you get into burnout, your body's sore and all of this, right? And it's it's like I'm matching this picture that's been painted of me. But because it's just a snapshot. So they take a snapshot of me that matches that and then they'll play it across the board. Whatever that is. I don't know. Do you do that? Do you think you know somebody? So then you stop... You know, you don't leave it open for them to be changed or grow, right? I don't know. What is that for you? Woof. Okay. One creator. Can we have one here? Thank you, creator. Help us inside today. What can we do inside? Acknowledging the day, the importance of why we recognize and think about missing and murdered indigenous women all those that have gone missing and those missing children all those ones that are there but are missing inside and lost in their own because they lost their voice how do we give them back the voice the creator that's who i'm talking to the creator thank you this one fell down. Must have been shaking the table too much. Whoa, whoa. Just one creator. Woof. 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 You awake now? You awake now? I'm awake. That one just hopped out right there. Okay. So the pilgrim. We be the pilgrims. We in the pilgrims. See, I got my red candles lit for that too. Put that up here. The pilgrim. Mmm, we're gonna look at that. But what is this one that fell over half? Huh? The vessel. Oh, look at all those falling down. The ocean. Ooh. We have here. Ouch. Ay, 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 caramba. What do we do this way? We had the pilgrim. That's the bottom one. Oh, there's the hunter that was under that. That horse. Mm, interesting but and look at the pilgrim and the vessel and the vessel excuse me Ooh -hoo. Oop, running my hand over that the vessel Oh, right, we need to take care of the vessels. That's a beautiful card. Get a little closer for you, huh? The vessel. And this one, too. We can bring that a little closer to it. The pilgrim in the vessel. Mmm. 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 Huh? What's that? The vessel. Beautiful cards. I love these. Okay, let's get on with it. Here we go. <laughs> the vessel. The vessel. The vessel. Right? These physical bodies. The vessel, our temple. And 
there. And, whoa, look at that. I flop, flop, and it's right there. The vessel, the body, the container, the cup. The vessel may be the most powerful archetype form on earth. It is everywhere. Cups hold liquid. Stoves hold fire. Our bodies hold organs. Our homes hold families. Through the simple act of separation, the vessel protects what it contains. Mm. Nests protect the eggs. Savings accounts protect our earnings. Even the planets are contained within their circular orbit. When this card appears, it is time to assess what is being held together and how. Is the vessel too tight? <laughs> too loose? Broken? Empty? Full? Or perhaps there is no vessel at all and the contents spill in every direction. It is natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart. It is natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart. It is natural. The vessel has a life cycle that must be honored. It is time. Is it time for you to build, break, or repair? You must find out. Is it time for us to build, break, or repair? We must find out. And it all begins within each one. Each vessel needs to do their part. When light, stable, strong, graceful. When dark, trapped, being in a bubble. Wow. Are we all in a bubble? Go deeper. A loving cup by the Rolling Stones. All right. Listen to the song, Loving Cup by the Rolling Stones. I'm going to put that on after. The physical body is the most sacred vessel of all. It is the one in which you reside from your first breath to your last. It may need your attention. Oh, of course it does. Of course it does. The mentor and the healer must pay particular attention to this archetype. The mentor and the healer must pay particular attention to this archetypal form. Healing cannot be sustained without a strong container. Hmm. Healing cannot be sustained without a strong container. Hmm. Right? Well, I can testify to that. Right? Oh, it's hard to heal those emotional things because, you know, it's hard on the physical body. So, when the physical body, my container, is under stress and duress and whatever you want to call it like that, or yours too, and we're tired, it's harder to get to that healing, right? Sometimes, right, like I've said, oh, there's tears and, and I'm feeling great and I don't know why I'm crying. And then it's like, oh, right, my body is weeping because my body is so tired and worn out and drained. Empty vessel. I get filled from spirit, right? But we do need those human connections. They are very important. We're, we're social creatures. We're part of that divine. I don't know. I like to think of it like we're all God's subpersonalities, right? <laughs> we're all part of that creator. We all have these different hats that we put on and wear. We are the expression of the divine in the many ways it can express itself. What? I don't know. What is that for you? This is my la 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 la. The pilgrim. Let's see what the pilgrim says. Make it a little higher. Well, we can just bring that one back, maybe. Right, okay. We had the vessel. Back here. Oop! Burdened my fingers. Now we're going to read up the pilgrim. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. The vessel. The vessel. Okay. And the pilgrim. Here we go. Oh, oh, sorry. And I thought, wow, this is going quicker. Or 21. 21 minutes. Okay, the pilgrim. The wanderer. The traveler. The apprentice. 
For the pilgrim, an outward journey is always an inward journey. This archetypal wanderer seeks wisdom, experience, and meaning. Wisdom, experience, and meaning in the farthest reaches of the globe and the deepest regions of the spirit. Others will wander, wonder, wonder, not wander, wonder, in this case. Others will wonder when the pilgrim will settle down and claim a more conventional life. But the pilgrim knows that the heart belongs in motion. Where there is motion, there is freedom, expansion, and growth. Hmm. Where there is motion, there is freedom, expansion, and growth. Responsibilities, social conventions, and logistics lull us to sleep. Huh? Responsibilities, social conventions, and logistics lull us to sleep. And soon, the pilgrim becomes veiled in the slumber of the day to day. Yet, when this archetype awakens, it rallies our sense of adventure and leads us out the door towards a new reality. <laughs> within the pilgrim, okay, okay, it doesn't say within the pilgrim, with the pilgrim at your side, you will never lack courage, nor do you need every amenity, nor do you need every amenity, come on. Travel light. Travel soon. Your spirit needs it. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> travel light, travel soon. Your spirit needs it. When light learns, grows, adapts, studies. Studies. When dark, aloof, noncommittal, and flaky. Wow. Wow. When I see government stuff, that's what it seems to me. They're aloof, noncommittal, and flaky. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The more I learn about it, the more. Ah, 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 ah. Well, you know, some, some. Well, I like that RBG and her hubby. Oh, man. Those were. Whoa, whoa. See? They were pilgrims. Things need to change. Other vessels need to see this. Right? Honor all vessels. All vessels belong here. Whatever they are. Hmm. What is that for you? Okay. So, and then we look, okay, learns, grows, adapts, studies, aloof, noncommittal, and flaky when dark. Go deeper, the road not taken by Robert Frost. And Mameen by David White. M-A-M-E-E-N. Mameen by David White. So we can go deeper into the archetype of that pilgrim and we can see. Well, I, I would even recommend, based on, what, what, what? On the basis of sex, that movie, I would recommend watching that. That would be a good one to go deeper in the pilgrim making changes, shifting, shifting. We talk about the natural order of things. Is it natural order to not let things grow and expand? Is it natural order to try and stunt the seed when it just starts to sprout up? I don't know, I don't know. Even in the stillness of meditation, the pilgrim feels the movement of the heart towards what it loves. Mm. We all have a deep longing to answer the call. <laughs> to get unstuck. What are the obstacles between you and the door? Hmm. To get unstuck. What's the obstacles between you and the door? Wow. That is powerful. Very powerful. And I would like one animal spirit. One animal spirit from the wild unknown here. Thank you. This one animal spirit to share their medicine as we do this deep dive. Oh, what could it be, right? Mm -hmm. Looking inside the vessels. Our own vessels. Because you know what? We can't do it for anybody else's vessels, right? We are in our own vessels always. We cannot go into another vessel, so this is the one we are responsible for. And how are we taking care of the only vessel we've got? 
Huh? And you believe you're going to come back for another lifetime. You get this vessel for this lifetime. That's it. And one, this, one vessel per lifetime. That's all we got. One vessel per lifetime. How are you taking care of the vessel you're in? Hmm? How is that the, for you? Okay. Thank you, Creator. Just one. Round this off nice and beautifully. Whoa, animal spirit card from the wild unknown. We gotta brace the unknown. Oh boy, that's really, they want to come out and talk here. Which one? Just one? I know, I know. Well, come out, then it's clear. If you just jump right out, then I know clearly which one wants to speak up. Okay, thank you, animal spirit. Thank you. Which one of you? I know you all want to share your medicine, but look at that. Just that one flipped out. Hawk, listening to the messages, the messages of your life, the messages of our ancestors. Hmm. Look at that, that hawk. Hmm. Where has your life been leading you? What was that message? Are you listening? Are you listening deeper? Hmm. I don't know. Are you seeing where you fit, where there's a need? You know, you're seeing the reason. Whoa, I don't know. You know, your life is a message. Look at that. We follow that. We don't, don't give up. We hear that calling. Do we answer that call? Right? Even RBG wanted to give up. You know, her life didn't take the route that she wanted, but she did not give up. She made a difference and not only helped herself, but the world, too. This is what we can do. Each one of us. What is the meaning? What meaning are you giving to your life? Hmm? Hmm. What meaning do you give? Everything. I don't know. Anyway, so as I'm done fussing with that, let me read in there what Hawk has to say for us. Okay, right. And now we had the most. Don't scrutinize every little detail so you don't even you don't even try. Let's be aware of that. On the top of that. Oh, and this one. Okay. We'll set these right up here. The grace and beauty. Whoopsies. Because we need to see that for sure. And this one. Over her. Oh, my, my. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. The grace and ease. So these. Right? No scrutinizing. <laughs> We're finding that balance. Look at that. Air, earth, water. Oh, hey, vessels, the fire. Isn't that the passion side? It's not there. Okay, 29, 22. Hawk, hawk, hawk. Hawk medicine. Hockey, come on here, hawk. Hello, hawk. Hawk, hawk. Oh, maybe at the back? Is that the air? I don't know. This book is... Um, there it is. There's eagle. There's hawk. Watchful. All-seeing messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, sees clearly and is intuitive. When out of about it, balance, sees too much and is suspicious. Hmm... To bring into balance, have a perspective shift, right? Like the hangman, you hang yourself upside down or whatever. And then the mouth is about scrutinizing. Do you scrutinize too much that you don't even make a move? What is that for, for you? Let's see what it says in her. Of course, detail-oriented, small-minded, nitpicky, and nervous. That's our little mouse energy. The mouse has an innate desire to tend to, de to the details. It often spends its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. Unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Hmm. Maybe this world. The, see, there's the archetype that's all right. This isn't just 
personally see how that's showing up in your life but this is what we're all dealing with right now world archetypals here so unfortunately a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail this can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them hmm it may be time to find a more purposeful project excuse me as a blow that down blow me down might be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into one that's worthy of your exacting eye when in balance organized resourceful and prepared when out of balance busy with no purpose uh, right because busy just for the sake of being busy because you think I got to do something I can't rest and blah 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 right so busy with no purpose um, to bring into balance a meaningful project so do something that was a track Tuesday what brings you joy something that's meaningful the swan that's the grace in ease but also very protective of a sacred space swan will gracefully bite your ass if you come into their territory right <laughs> effortless creativity sensitive music elegant power oh sensitive mystic of course I put music in there sensitive mystic effortless creativity sensitive mystic elegant power the swan represents heightened creativity in Hindu mythology the goddess Saraswati was embodied of the was the embodiment of language creativity and artistry okay the goddess Saraswati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention. For solo time within Wednesdays whatever day this is I'm just recording on Wednesday an inner voice is waiting to be heard an inner vision likely to be revealed Ugh. when in balance infinite creative power when out of balance agitated snippy and lacking vision bring to bring it into balance some solo time some writing whatever that is for you some solo time do something creative whether it's writing doodling whatever write a meaningful project take some time and what does that solo time feel to you do you feel alone in solo time or do you like solo time hmm do you spend time listening to this vessel hmm being the pilgrim making those changes that this vessel is calling for even this mother earth is this vessel that we're all on Right? It needs us. Hmm. I mean, we need it more than it needs us, right? And the earth, what's that? I just read something. She can heal herself and us too, but we just need to stop making her sick. Stop making herself sick. Hmm. Hmm. What's the part you're playing in this whole new world? A whole new world. La 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 <laughs> begins within. What is your passion? What's your purpose? Are you out there doing it? Oh, love you. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do. Right? You have a message to the world. You're a pilgrim. You have a beautiful vessel. Okay? Create. What's it calling you to do? Are you scrutinizing every detail? Whew. let's look inside what can we each do personally mm. that contributes to the all right come from that space of love if we all do that oh oh what a beautiful world this would be mm. love you thank you a wonderful wonderful blessed day a week and whatever time this is watching you and we'll see you next time love you